I'm Sharice Nicole with CNicky.com. We are here at our favorite restaurant, Della Terra, in Beverly Hills, California, for a little cocktail and conversation with one of our favorites, Josea Chanchez from BET's The Game. I'm Sharice Nicole, and you know what it is. It's game time with my boy that many of you guys know as Malik, but I know him as... Big Daddy. <laughs> no, no, I don't actually. You know me. What's happening? I don't, I don't know him as that at all. So, uh, Mr. Uh, Chanchez, yes. this is it. This is it. This is it. I mean, season eight and season nine, mm-hmm. we are dying. Oh, we're dying. I mean, we're dying from anticipation, and we're also like devastated that it finally you had to come to an end. Oh, no. We're devastated. We're ride or die game fans. It's a good thing. Listen, the last thing you want is to outwear your welcome in television. And, you know, you don't want to get tired of your characters. You want to, you know, it wasn't short enough or too, too long where you're like, okay, I'm sick of these people. And, you know, the truth is after 10 years, a decade, um, you know, the actors are changing. You know, we're getting older. You know, Malik's going to be damn near in a wheelchair and Tasha Mack's going to be definitely in a wheelchair you know so you want to end it on a high note you know we're still in some way breaking some records and and got lots of viewership you guys are still tuning in so it's a really good time to put the show at rest and and you know say thank you to the fans and wrap it up luckily BET didn't just cancel the show they came to the producers and the producers came to the actors and and said listen we're going to end the series and do it do it you know proper the evolution of my character was something that I was really concerned about um, in the beginning of you know us coming back to, to, to TV. I just didn't want him to be a cliche. Right. I didn't want him to keep going through the same experiences. And I even talked to my producers about it. And I informed them, listen, you know, I want him to go out with growth and maturity and, and not doing the same things, you know what I mean? Just, not just because I'm an actor and, you know, we always think about our position, but because I'm a man and as a man, I want to see another man who's young, who's black, who's successful, um, go off into, you know, TV death <laughs> in a way that I'm proud of, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And we kind of found, ba- found a balance in the end. I think some of you guys will be happy with what happens to him. And some of you guys won't be happy, but I wasn't 100% happy. I'm going to be 100% honest about it. Um, But I found a balance in it to let him go in the direction that he went in at the end. So, yeah. Um, Does he find love and keep it? You know what? If I told you that, you'd know the end of the show, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to know the end of the show. Then of course we want to know the end of the show. You know people say that, but the truth is, people don't want to know the truth because you. I mean, if you already know what's going to happen, what's the point in watching the show? So, I mean, I'll save you guys from a spoiler alert because nobody likes spoiler alerts. Do you? Yes, I do. You do? I do actually. Well, I'll tell you once the camera stops rolling. I'm just going to tell you guys what I heard, and you can just shake your head this way or this way. I heard that Tika Sumter comes back, and she's like, "Um, I'm pregnant. I want to be with you. And then, well, oh, no. Wait a minute. I had, here's here's baby Malik. Oh, she had the baby. Yeah, this is baby Malik. And then Robin Givens comes back and she's like, um, hold up. We um we're never really divorced. We're actually still married. Oh wow. And I get half of oh. the eighty million. No, it's hundred and twenty two now. But oh. go ahead. Oh, sorry. You could just shake or nod if that's really what I happened. I, I I'm paralyzed to the truth of the situation bound by contracts. We've loved to see what's happened with you because at first, you know, you were that guy that so many of us know and love to hate that was flashy, that was like talking trash all the time, running through all of these random women. If I can call all of them women on the show, some of them were crazy. Yes. I'm not that I, I don't know any girls like that personally. I'm just saying. Exists, especially in the world of the NFL. Yeah. Like those those girls, they're there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we loved to hate you in the beginning, and um, now you're like, 
well, you're starting to grow up. I mean, you're becoming mature. You're a businessman now. Um, Mm -hmm. But you're still making some knucklehead decisions. Of course, of course. Um, And, you know, that's real life. Uh, You know, again, for me, Hosea, it's been a delicate balance playing him in the past. I would say... Uh, three or four years because you know when you for me when you get into you know I I started this job when I was 25 24 24 25 and the growth in that 10 years between 24 25 34 it's like you grow so much as a man and you change so much that you really want to make changes in your work Mm -hmm. and in your art Mm -hmm. so you know I fought really hard for Malik to to grow up and learn from his mistakes and not keep repeating them. Now, though a lot of guys just don't get it sometimes, especially in the NFL and young with money, um, you know, you want to play the guy that does get it. You know what I mean? You want him to be one of the ones that do get it. What's up, guys? It's Jose Chanchez from The Game, the number one hit series that you guys made number one. Thank you. And you are tuned in to cnicky.com.